All right. Uh, first and foremost, I want to start off by saying, Brakate Howard, Brakate Howard Shai, Brakate Howard, Brakate Howard Shai, Brakate Howard, Brakate Howard Shai. Call Allah, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakal Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who rule well and who taught me this truth. And I shalom to you, sincere Akim, out there listening, learning, and pushing this truth. And I shalom to the few sincere Akwath that are out there listening and learning as well. And with that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this lesson. Lord is willing, it'll be edifying. As usual, I'm going to go in the uh, Rakal Kwadash. Uh, for the record, today's date is uh, September 2nd, 2020, uh, the year of prophecy. And um, I got a quick little video. Um, I'm going to play a little bit of this lesson, of this uh, video here off of um, Yasana Ama Ventures. Um, he, was, uh, he was doing a pretty good job of explaining how we are um, we are heading into a global fa famine. He was breaking things down pretty good. So I'm going to play a little bit of this video here. But... Um, uh, just throwing it out here, the, the, the brother, uh, we had we had camp this past uh, Sunday, and um, the brother Zakari had brought out, he was mentioning that um, he was he was going into the famine, you know. You know, we know per Amos 8 and 11, you know, we're, there's going to be a famine of the word, a famine of hearing this truth, but also we know there's actually going to be a famine of food, okay. Cannibalism, all these things are spoken about in the scriptures before, you know, it's happened before. And as the scripture said, there's no new thing under, under the sun and cannibalism, famine, okay? Uh, it's all part of Jacob's trouble and it's coming back in a hell of a way, in a big, big way, okay? You know? But the scriptures tell us that the elect, we're going to be good, man. No evil shall, shall come near our dwelling place. It tells us that we're going to eat, you know? But that you're going to starve, you know? The wicked, you know? But anyway, um... I really did this scripture. I was, I was, this scripture was in my mind, but for some reason I thought it was in the Apocrypha. All right. But, um, I know there's an account pretty sure in the account in the Maccabees, if I'm not mistaken, I got to go back and double check. I, 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 I can't, my mind is kind of drawn a blank, but I thought for some reason that this verse here was in the, um, the Apocrypha, but it wasn't. But through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai and the Rakal Kodash, I was reading, uh, last night. And um, I stumbled across it, the Wadi Ha Bashim Yao Shai. So I said, uh, let me bring it out. Because it was on my mind uh, at camp, but I couldn't, I couldn't remember it, you know. So I bring it out now. But this is pretty much the main, don't be a, it's not too long of a video, man. You know, we're broken records. <laughs> the same thing over and over. Repent. The name of the Lord is Yahweh. That's the name of the of God, who you ignorantly call God. And his only begotten son, his name is Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. He's a so-called, they're both so-called black men. But Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, is a so-called Negro from the tribe of Judah, okay? And he's coming back to save his people, Yasharala, Israel, okay? Anyway, I'm just throwing that out there for those that don't know. But yeah, straight to the point, we're heading into the time, but we're at the door, actually, of Jacob's trouble, you know? And um, the hour of temptation is drawing nigh, you know, all these things, we're, we're right door, we're, we're right there, you know? All we got to do is hold on. But like I said, I just really wanted to bring this scripture out chiefly. And, um, just, to, you know, we go from there. So, um, uh, straight to the point. This is Lamentations chapter four, verse nine. And it's funny because I, I love this uh, chapter. I'm always in this chapter, especially con concerning verse 22, you know, but the whole chapter is fire. But if, if for some reason I drew, I drew a blank, man, but it is what it is. We in this weak ass flesh, but like I said, I got it now. So anyway, um, Salakia, this is, um, Lamentations chapter four, four verse. Uh, where was I? I lost it already. Salaki, I lost it already. Salak and demons. There it is. Beautiful. All right. I start at nine. Lamentations four and nine, because uh, the brother was going into Zakari was going into how how starving. That's a that's a horrible way to go out, and the scriptures tell you that. All right. There's nothing worse than starving. The hunger pains. You know, that's why they resorted to eating. And when you read, I'm pretty sure the account is in the Maccabees. You know, I'm pretty sure uh, I'm, I, I, I'm going to go when I, when I close this out. I'm, I know it's in the Maccabees. I believe it's in second Maccabees, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, that's why um, <clears throat> they resorted to eating everything. Because I'm pretty sure they were besieged. I forget who besieged them, 
But yeah, I'm pretty sure it was in the time of the Maccabees. But anyway, yeah, they they ended up they were being besieged and they ended up um you know eating everything. Elder Apostle Tahar and Elder Apostle Gabor always goes into they ate, they ate everything. They ate their belts. They ate anything that they could you know to, just to quench the, the 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 hunger pains, the quell the, the the rumbling of the stomach. And then when when that wasn't you know when it was done, you know they ran through all of that. It wasn't suffice. You know, they resorted to eating their children, man. All right. <clears throat> this account kind of goes into that, too. But I believe, like I said, the Maccabees expounds on it more. All right. But anyway, uh, Lamentations 4 and 9. <clears throat> they that be slain with the sword, and that's what's coming. Sword. Okay. Destruction. Okay. You know, race wars, class wars, you know, domestic violence, you know. But the ultimate sword is also on its way, which is what? The second death. Okay, the lake of fire, intercontinental ballistic missiles, nukes. That's the ultimate sword. That's the ultimate plague. All right? You know? And that's the judgment for the wicked. All right? But some of you, Yahweh Yahweh Shai is going to have mercy upon you, and you may die off in the wars, in the, third, in the third's woe, and you may die in the race wars. You know, who knows? But a lot of you are going to be preserved for that, for that, for those nukes, man, and you are, that means you, the Lord just hates you, man, you are completely wicked, a complete reprobate, because like I, we bring out all the time, that judgment is for chiefly Esau, Edom, all right, <clears throat> but anyway, Lamentations 4 and 9, they that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger, talking about starving, them hunger pains, when your ribs are touching, like DMX said, you've been eating long enough now, stop being greedy. Let's keep it real, partner. Give to the needy. Ribs are touching. Can't wait to bite <laughs> some shit like that. But when the, when, hey, when your ribs are touching, hey, <laughs> you, the, that animal instinct, you, you return back to, you turn into a damn near beast, man. That animal instinct kicks in, man. Okay? That survival, you know? Survival instinct. That's what times are going to come into. That's what Jacob's trouble. It's going to be the strong is going to survive. The strong mind, the strong willed mind people, you know, that are strong and built up in the faith with Yahweh Bashim Shai, and the, the, the physically strong and mentally strong, okay? The weak are going to get devoured in that day, man, okay? You know, that's why these women, they're going to be looking for righteous men, you know, because all the calamity, all the hell that's going to be befalling this place, they're going to be looking for strong men, stable men, and the most stable men are going to be the men of the Lord. Why? Because we've been building up our faith, hardening our minds, you know, hardening our bodies, you know, and then on top of that, we're going to be stable because we've got this wisdom and knowledge, you know, and that hedge around us, Lord's willing, we be those men and those women we keep enduring, so we're going to be good in those times, but for the two-thirds, it ain't going to be, <laughs> they, this, this is their kingdom, this is their time to live it up, this is their reward, okay, you know, this is our hell, this is their heaven, so, hey, about to flip, man. They about to be in hell and we about to be in heaven. We about to be rejoicing because we know, hey, each day that passes, we're, we're, just like now, it's closer to closer to our salvation, you know? Through much tribulation, we shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, all right? So back in Lamentations 4 and 9, it says, They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. For these, meaning those that are starving, you know, from that famine that's coming, for these pine, meaning waste away, your you're gonna your body's gonna uh, start to devour all the flat, all the fat. A lot of you people are out of shape and obese, so you're gonna last for a little while. You're gonna last for a while without food, but that doesn't mean you're still not gonna feel those pains. You're not you're gonna feel your body, that, uh, you know, eating away all and all the fat. And when all the fat's gone off your body, what's the body gonna do? Because the body is always trying to survive. Your body's going to start to cannibalize itself. It's going to start to devour itself to survive. It's going to start to waste away at your muscles. And that's going to be painful. Okay? You see? You're going to pine away, waste away. It says, they that be slain with the sword. Hey, that's why it says, knowing the terrors of the Lord, we persuade men. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is not to be played with, man. He's long-suffering, but he's also to be feared, man. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, man. Okay? You know, he's not to be played with, man. You know, repent. They that be slain with the sword 
are better than they that be slain with hunger. For these pine away, stricken through through for wants of fruits of the fields. You see? They're going to be pining away, begging for food. I'll read one more verse now. <clears throat> it says, the hands of the pitiful woman, and this is this happened before. Like I said, I'm pretty sure the account, the account is in the Maccabees, okay? Where the, the woman said that I'm going to, uh, today we're going to kill, we're going to uh, eat your child, and tomorrow we're going to, we're going to eat mine, you know? Pretty sure that, that account was in the Maccabees, you know? It says the hands of the pitiful woman, because the women, you women, <laughs> you careless women, you're going to lament for the teeth, man. The vintage is going to fail. The gathering is not going to come, okay? You're going to be in a horrible qu a case, and you men, okay? But a lot of you women have a bunch of kids, man, a bunch of little babies' kids, man. You've been riding a cop carousel, jumping from dick to dick, relying on child support, relying on food stamps, re relying on Egypt, the government. Your enemy, Esau, eat him for help. It's going to fail. The gathering is not going to come. Okay? How are you going to feed your children in that time? What are you going to say to them? How are you going to feed yourself? Look at what was look at what's going on in Venezuela. They were eating out of the dumpsters, man. Women were cutting their hairs off to, to sell it, walking all the way to, the, to another country just to sell their hair to get money to buy food. Okay? This, these are the times that we're coming into, man. Serious times. Okay? Repent. It says the hands of the pitiful woman have sodden their own children. They were, it says they were their meat in the destruction of the daughter of my people. See, cannibalism. It happened then, and it's going to happen again. Okay? Okay, because the Lord is pissed, and that's part of his judgment, his righteous judgment. Okay? So anyway, let, let's play some of this, and I'll jump back in the scriptures. I'm not going to play the whole thing because it's like it's 30 minutes, but I'm going to play a, a, a good portion of it because, you know, he's bringing out some pertinent information, you know. Like I said, this is from like three weeks ago. Uh, thank you for your invitation. Can you hear me? Okay. According to the report, 135 million people in 55 countries experienced acute food insecurity in 2019. As the forecast for food security in 2020 look bleak. The Bureau of Economic Analysis released on July 31st kind of an overview of the economy, where p food prices are just, you know, there it's a very large report. It has a lot of information on it. But if you looked at food prices, something that I noticed is that food prices have skyrocketed in 2020 in comparison to 2019 or 2018. And even in 2019, we saw the World Food Index go up quite that's a sign of the, 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 the collapse of this economy, okay? And we know they're using this COVID-19 as, as an excuse. But when you pay attention to these countries that were in Jacob's trouble before us, like, like I said, South America, prime example, Venezuela, that's one of the things, one of the signs, one of the, one of the ch chief things that happened was hyperinflation, okay? And we know that's coming globally because what? They have to crash this fiat system, this funny money, okay? You know, the price of goods, hey, like I said in 2nd Ezra, because victuals are sold cheap, they think themselves to be in a good case. But they're not, man. The evils are being multiplied. The devil is is, is, is moving, man. He's, he's making moves behind scenes and in, in, and in your face, man. You know, he's about to come down with this great wrath. You know, <clears throat> repent. Quite a bit. So 2020, you, you saw a massive climb in prices. And a lot of it has been blamed on the coronavirus, but my research indicates that there's a lot more going on than just a pandemic. And food prices definitely went up at the beginning of 2020, but they haven't really come down. If you look at this chart of meat prices, beef and veal increased 20.2% in 2020, 25.1% year over year. Eggs increased 10.4% in 2020, that's 12.1% year over year. Poultry was up 8.6% in 2020, pork up 8.5% in 2020, 
with an 11.8% increase year over year. The thing you have to understand about this is that staple food products are a... I'm going to give it back to him, but what happens also is you got to remember, like I said, it's, it's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai visiting this place. He's plaguing this place with uh, the crop failures, you know, with the locusts, the, uh, the floods, these different fires, so on and so forth. And then on top of that, Esau Edom also is forcing it, the wicked elite. They're, they're making a man-made famine, forcing these farmers and so on and so forth to dump their crops, you know? So so this the, we, we're right there, baby. Everything is coming to a head. Everything is coming to a head, man. <laughs> yeah, man, it's about to get nasty out here. Nasty. And it's going to catch you with your pants down. It's going to catch you in your security when you least expect it. You're going to be looking for answers. You ain't going to have no answers. Okay? And you're going to bug the fuck out. Every year, eggs increased 10.4% in 2020. That's 12.1% year over year. Poultry was up 8.6% in 2020. Pork up 8.5% in 2020 with an 11.8% increase year over year. The thing you have to understand is that you got to remember, Esau, Edom, like, like the elders always bring out, that's how this man works, through gradualism. Because if he, if he brought this, if he crashed this economy draft quickly, everybody would panic. It would be mass chaos. But we know he wants to control the chaos. Okay? Problem, reaction, solution. Order out of chaos. You know? So he's, he's, he's gradually crashing this economy. Gradually tightening the noose. But it's going to come a time when he's just going to come on out, all out with it, man. Okay? This is that staple food products are a global commodity. They're traded all around the world. We trade our food with other countries. In exchange, we get a lot of different ingredients, ingredients that we don't necessarily produce on our own. Every micro food supply event around the world causes a ripple, and that ripple hits the macro food supply problem. So our food prices aren't just impacted by what's happening here in the United States or in your country. It's impacted by events that happen all over the world. And for as long as I can remember... And you see, this thing is global. That's how you know we're close, because this is a global shutdown. This is going to be a global famine, okay? You know, everything is, is happening on a global scale. It's not a local scale anymore. It's, everything is globally, and it, everything affects one another. When, when say, say they put sanctions on China... And China stops sending goods over here. That's that affects us, man. Every, every it's a cause and effect, you know. And all roads are leading to the hour of temptation. Honestly, that's where everything is ultimately leading to the hour of temptation, the RFID microchip. Okay, Revelation thirteen and sixteen. They're bringing in the pressure, pressure from above, pressure from below. And a lot, of, man, a lot of people could deal with a lot of things. You could deal with being homeless. You could deal with, you know, a lot of things, but you're not going to be able to deal with that famine, that starving. A lot of people are going to buckle and break in that day, okay? And Esau Edom is fully aware of this. That's why he, he was banning people. He, he stopped people from buying crop seeds, okay? The the, the, the the different stores stopped buying seeds, you know? Because what? She's orchestrating this, man, you know? Remember, we've had micro food events happening in local communities where there's been starvation problems and there have been starvation problems in large communities like Africa but what we have not seen until now is these food issues occurring in very large countries large countries that have resources to try and combat it and when they try and combat it with those resources what's going to happen is it's going to affect you because now you're having to compete with them. Over the past couple of years, we've seen a lot of food problems from pests, from locusts, insects, um, rodents. Rodents have torn up crops in Europe. We've also seen a lot of uh, impacts from disease. You saw the olive tree leprosy last winter. That was really bad. Uh, we've had a lot of yellow rust problems. We've had a lot of pathogens. and, and that's, that's what I mean. This guy brought out a lot of <clears throat> pertinent information that I didn't even know about. It's a lot of things happening. You can't even keep up. You know, it's a lot of things happening if you're looking at the big picture. You know, and all <laughs> if if you if you were to do like a flow chart, you would see everything is leading to Jacob's trouble, the hour of temptation, the return of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Hamashiach, tribulation, anguish. That's what's coming, man. 
and pests affecting our crops. That has also been impacted heavily by uh, weather events globally. I mean, if you like remember- I said, it's also Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai plague in this place. These droughts, these locusts, these fires, you know? You know? For 2019, no plant 2019, we had a hard time getting crops in the ground here in the U.S. When you look at China and India this year, you've had some very, very harsh conditions. I mean, if you look at China, between the winter time, severe hailstorms, severe winter weather, and then going into the spring and summer with these massive floods, which, by the way, the Three Gorges Dam... That thing, it, it's flooded so much, it's shifted the dam. They say it's safe, but there's no way you can find me down, down, downstream of that dam. Um, and, and the scary thing about it is Wuhan is just below the Three Gorges Dam. If that dam breaks and you have that bio lab down there, just imagine what would be released into the environment. And that dam has shifted. Um, I don't see how you can look at the satellite images of that dam. Anyway, you can, I'm not going to put it. This was a pretty good... Um a pretty good video. You can watch the whole thing. Like I'll show you where I got it from again. Um, yes, Yanasa, Yanasa um, Ama Ventures from August 9th, 2020. Like I said, is a global famine coming? And yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's, it's coming quickly. All right. But um, you get the idea. Like I just wanted you to hear some of his points, his key points that he was talking about. Like I, said, I didn't even consider some of those things. You know, like you can't keep up. <laughs> Because we're in these times, the prophecies are, are, are screaming. Anyway, uh, let me bang these out, uh, and I close out. Like I said, I, I didn't want to make this long. Like I said, I just really wanted to highlight this key scripture: Lamentations chapter four, verse nine. They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. Okay, for these pine away, stricken through, stricken through for want of the fruits of the field. The hands of the pitiful women, and it's happened before, it's going to happen again. The hands of the pitiful woman have sodden their own children. They were their meat in the destruction of the daughter of my people. Okay, and it's going to ha happen then, it's going to happen again. Um, this is 2nd Ezra chapter 9. We bring it out all the time. Straight to the point. Uh, 6, 9 and 6. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful effect and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. And everyone that shall be saved, the elect, the elect, the elect of Yasharallah, 144,000 men out of, out of uh, 12,000 men out of each tribe, okay? 144,000 men plus the one third, the innumerable, uh, innumerable, uh, um, the innumerable number of believers, okay? The men, women, and children predestined for salvation, okay? Two-thirds are going to get cut off, but one-third are going to get saved, okay? And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works, because you got to have works, faith plus works. I show you my faith by my works, okay? Faith without works is dead, right? And everyone that shall be saved, right? Saved from what? From this tribulation, this tri this, all the hell that's about to befall this place, Okay? Chiefly Jacob's trouble, you know, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith. OK, because the just the just live by faith. OK, we're faith based Israel Israelites, man. We're prisoners of Yahweh shine, prisoners of hope, man. All right. You know, whereby you have believed shall be preserved from said peril. So we're going to be all right, man. As long as we put our, as long as we keep giving diligence to make our calling and election sure, and keep putting our trust in Yahweh Shai, all our trust, will trust, we'll be good, man. Okay, it's his good pleasure to give us the kingdom. He's not a man that he should lie. Okay, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed, shall be preserved from the said peril, Jacob's trouble, and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified them, meaning separated them, okay, from, I said, I have, I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Like I said, this thing is about predestination, the first fruits, okay, predestined for salvation from the beginning, all right, because you keep coming back in your lot, okay, all right. So it said, then they, it said, then shall they, meaning who, the two-thirds, the wicked, okay, 
The other nations also, Esau, Edom, and these other nations, but I don't care about them, man. I'm concerned with my people, all right? The other, the other nations are vanity, nothing, okay? Spittle, insignificant, okay? You know, they're the extras, you know? This thing is about <laughs> Jacob and Esau, maybe, you know? And chiefly, right now, it's about the nobles, <laughs> the nobles of each, of each um, nation, the nobles of Jacob, of, of, of Yasharala, and the, the elite of Yasharala, and the elite of Esau Edom, okay? We're the, we are the illuminated ones. Esau Edom's illuminated on the left-hand side. We are illuminated on the right through Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, okay? You know, he's the light bearer, okay? You know? Anyway, it says, Then shall they be in a pitiful case. Yeah, they're going to be <laughs> hurting. Hurting. I brought it out to you. They're going to pine away, some of them. Some of them going to pine away, okay? They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. For these pine away, stricken through for want of the fruits of the field. Okay? They're going to be starving. Then shall they be in a pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. Because what? We keep telling you the doors of mercy are, are, are open, man. It's closing quickly. Okay? The ark doors are closing. Okay? But you still have time to repent. You still have time to seek the Lord. To seek his face, to inquire, okay, to, to, to inquire the things that are, are, are pleasing to him, inquire what, to, how to get salvation, you know, you still got time, but but a lot of you are, are putting it that day afar off, okay, you know, you're not taking heed, you you misusing the prophets and you you misusing the you you mis, you taking this liberty, this grace for granted, okay, so you're gonna be in a pitiful case, he gonna catch you. With your pants down, okay? You're going to be crying, begging for answers, begging for help, and no help is going to come, okay? Then shall they be in a pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. Yeah, you wanted to do your own thing. You you, you know, you wanted to trust in Esau, Edom, okay? You know? And they that have cast them away despitefully, we keep telling you not to break the, not, you got to rehearse the righteous acts, keep the laws to the best of your ability, you know, simple things. Keep keep the dietary laws, but no, you want to go sit down and stuff your damn face at an all-you-can-eat uh, crab buffet or some shit like that. You know, you want to go get, go go get you some big slab of swine. You know, you want to stuff your face with shrimp. You want to keep being a sodomite. You want to keep committing adultery. You know, you know little things like that, man. You know, you just you just. Willfully, willfully being ignorant, man. You know. It says, "Then shall they be in a pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torment. For such as in their life have received benefits, yeah, that's what you people say. You two thirds, yeah, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Okay, all right. You that's your that's your reward. That's your consolation. You, on this side, okay." For such as in their life have received benefits, that little good ass job that you think you got, okay, <laughs> trust in it. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna come to naught, okay. You know, so it says, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have loathed my law, because you gotta, you, you can't hate the law. We love the law, man. Their life, okay, it, it, it makes sense. Everything that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai tells us to do makes sense. <laughs> it's perfect. But, you, you, oh man, you people are simple. Sodish children. And they that have loathed my law, while they had yet liberty, okay, because we're under grace. You can do whatever the hell you want. We're not in hardcore bondage anymore. Yes, we're still in slavery. Yes, we're still in captivity. But we're not, in, you know, in them hard chains anymore. You could, you could do pretty much whatever the hell you want to do, man. You can eat whatever the hell you want to eat. You choose to willfully break the dietary laws, okay? You know, you choose to willfully commit adultery, okay? You 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 just casting Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai's laws behind you. You hate the law. You hate Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, okay? It says, and they that have loathed, meaning hated my law, while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance, like we keep telling you, repent, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. When as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it, because the rest were blinded. 
Only the elect. We received salvation, but the rest were blinded, man. The Lord don't want the two-thirds. Okay? The two-thirds. This, this, is, this is about the two-thirds. Verse 12. The same must know it after death by pain. And that's what they're going to experience. Excruciating pain, man. Okay? Excruciating pain. Okay? And therefore, be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished, and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is, and for whom the world is created. The elect, baby. The elect of Yasharala. So I'll, I'll read one more. We know it. I'm going to read them all. I, I just uh, got all the, the different instances that uh, it came out in. You know, who shall, if you seek to, to save your life, you're going to lose it, all right? So this is Matthew 16 and 25, straight out of your Yahweh's mouth, all of them, all right? Who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, who is a so-called Negro from the tribe of Judah, okay? For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and who and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. And we have lost our lives. We've given up everything, okay? We're not of this world, man, you know? All we care about is pleasing the Yahabashim Yahawashai. We're still in the world, don't get me wrong. We still got to work. We still got to, you know, do worldly things. But it says using the world, not abusing it. Okay? You know? Mark 8 and 35. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospels, the same shall save it. And as it is written, we are killed all the day long for Yahawashai Hamashiach's sake, for his name's sake. For this truth, we are the filth of the earth, man. We are hated amongst all men for bringing out this truth. But it's okay. We, our, our reward is coming, okay? We're storing up these treasures in heaven. Why are you, why are you bullshitting and, and doing shit that's, that's going to come to naught and has no, uh, no reward, no, no, uh, no profit? We're storing up these treasures in heaven. And that's what's going to keep, get, keep us in, the, in them times to come, man, okay? Yahweh Shem Shai is going to look down upon us, and, and uh, Yahweh Shem Shai said he requires the things of the past. You know, he's going to look favor, even though all our righteousness as, is as filthy rags. You're still storing them up, these treasures. And Yahweh Shem Shai is going to look favorably upon us, man, because we've been fighting, we've been trying while we had liberty. Okay, unlike these other two thirds that are just will, willy nilly doing their own damn thing, not even considering or remembering their power. You see. You see, this is Luke chapter 9, verse 24. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. Luke 17 and 33. Whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. And whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. Okay. And what did it say? We're going to we're going to be preserved from said perils. You see, and so we're going to be preserved from the said perils, baby. Uh, where was that at? Verse 8, 2nd verse 9 and 8. And uh, I started 9 and 7. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed shall be preserved. You see? We lose in our life now, but we're going to be preserved. We're going to be saved in the end. But the ones that abuse the Lord's ways <laughs> dwell in torments, man. They, okay? You know? Anyway, I didn't want to make this long. Straight to the point. Um, like I always say, we're close, we're close, we're close. Keep your eye on the prize, man. Keep pushing. Shalom. Wa abad babal.